For this repair, you'll need an eye opener, a set of iFixit opening picks, a suction cup, an eye sclack, a spudger, tweezers, and a P2 pen lobe, TriPoint Y000, and Phillips 000 screwdrivers. We also recommend using a magnetic mat during your repair, as the iPhone XS has a ton of tiny screws that are easy to lose track of. Replacing your iPhone XS display, even with an original Apple display, will result of it losing True Tone functionality. When you're ready to do your repair, discharge your phone below 25% to reduce your chances of a battery fire or explosion if you accidentally puncture your battery. But don't worry, this probably won't happen, it's just a precaution. Power off your iPhone and then start by removing the two P2 pen lobe screws at the bottom of the phone. Next, use your eye opener to heat up the lower edge of the iPhone. This softens the adhesive, making it easier to open. If you've got an eye stack, it's gonna make opening your iPhone a lot easier. Just place it on the screen just above the lightning port, engage the suction cups, and squeeze to open the phone. You only need to open the iPhone just enough to get one of your opening picks inside. If you don't have an ice clock handy, a suction cup can be used in the same way. Place the suction cup in the same position just above the lightning port and apply constant pressure to create the gap needed to insert the opening pick. Once you've got the opening pick in position between the phone's frame and the screen, slide around the lower left corner and then up the left side of the phone, slicing through the adhesive while making sure not to insert the pick too far into the phone. This is a good time to remind you that breaking the adhesive seal of the iPhone does compromise your phone's water resistance. So keep that in mind, you'll need to replace the adhesive or just keep it away from water after this repair. Now, reinsert your pick at the bottom edge of the iPhone and slide it up the right side to finish separating the adhesive. The top edge of the iPhone XS is secured by both glue and clips, so slide your pick along the top to separate the adhesive, then gently wiggle the screen down in the direction of the lightning port. Try not to pull the phone too hard, there are several cables connecting the display to the logic board and we don't want to damage them. Once you've freed the display, open it to the right like the back cover of a book. Prop the display against something to keep it open, and then remove five screws holding on the logic board connector bracket. There are three different size screws in this bracket and they all need to go back in exactly where they came from, so make sure to note which screws came from which hole on your magnetic mat. Use your spudger to disconnect the battery connector, the front panel sensor assembly cable, and finally, the OLED panel connector. The sensor assembly cable is lightly adhered in place, so use your tweezers to gently lift the cable until it separates. Now your display should lift right off. With our display removed, we also need to remove the earpiece speaker and front sensor assembly. To start, peel back any tape that might be covering the hidden screw in the lower right corner of the speaker assembly. Remove the three screws securing the speaker assembly. These are three differently sized screws, so once again, make note on your magnetic mat where each of them came from. Gently pry up the earpiece speaker with the flat end of your spudger, but keep in mind that the speaker is going to remain attached by a thin, delicate cable. Use your eye opener to warm up the adhesive securing the sensors, then slide a pick underneath the flex cable below the microphone. Working left to right, slide the opening pick beneath the flex cable and underneath the proximity sensor. Gently wiggle the ambient light sensor and lift it up and out of its notch in the display. Now remove the earpiece speaker and front sensor assembly up and away from the display. Time to reinstall the earpiece speaker and assembly to your new display. Now we need to reapply our display adhesive. This process can take a bit of time, but lucky for you, we have an entire video walking you through the process. We'll link to it down in the description below. With your new adhesive strips applied, position your display along the side of the iPhone and prop it up just like you did during disassembly. Reconnect all the cables and then realign the logic board connector bracket. Make sure to use the same screws in the same spots to avoid damaging your phone. Then carefully align the display along the top edge of the phone and then press the top edge into place. Once in place, close the phone and reinsert the pentalobe screws at the bottom of the phone. 